It's possible that there are 30 to 36 items in this box, right? Hello, you beautiful... I don't know what I was gonna say there. Hello, you fantabulous flamingos. We have Shocker a box. It's supposed to be three boxes. They said they were all delivered today, but this was the only box that's delivered. So I'm hoping that there are 36-ish, 30 to 36 items in this box. It's possible. I made the mistake of, well, checking my email and the blue box sent out a notice. Buy one, get one half off. So you know that I, I clicked on that link and I happened to buy one, get one half off. And there also happened to be a Y2K box that was curated. that was also available. And my last Y2K box from Worn Not Wasted was so terrible. I thought I'd check this out because it's literally coming from the same place. They're the same group, blue, blue box, Worn Not Wasted, same. Uh, so I just, I got them. And needless to say, I also unsubscribed myself from all the email lists because I may have also gotten some more boxes from America Surf Supply. And I need more things, like I need a hole in the head, but I am preparing right now for the yard sale tomorrow. You'll see this probably after the yard sale, and I'll show you probably this setup footage before you see this. But as long as I'm getting ready for yard sale, I figure I better open this up because if there's a lot of junk, I'm just gonna take the yard sale and flip it for like 50 cents and obviously make no profit. <clears throat> Let's hope that's not the case and everything in here is fabulous. I also highly doubt that there, I don't know, maybe there's 30 some items in here, but uh, this doesn't look like 30 some items. So maybe the other boxes are just coming tomorrow. This looks from, so I got the regular, not the thrifty apparel box, but just like the regular apparel box. I haven't got one of those for ages. I got two of those. One was 50% off and then I got the Y2K box. And this looks just from glancing at the top, like possibly the Y2K box, but let's dig in and see. And maybe there's a receipt at some point. I thought like maybe it's stuffed and I moved this one thing and I was like, I can see the bottom. It's not stuffed. They're not 30 pieces. Uh, this is very cute. It also has some lovely, oh my gosh, look at how sweet that is. This is Jenny. It is acrylic and rayon, a size medium made in Taiwan. Um, does have a few little snags that I can just pull through. Does have some lovely spots, but fortunately that is just fuzz. Uh, let's see, looking here, that looks sellable. Super excited because it's so cute. All right, that's happy. I'm pretty sure that this is the Y2K box because, oh my gosh, who doesn't need a kilt size 30? It's a kilt. My guess is this is a modern kilt, not actually a Y2K kilt because it does have the hook and loop. Uh, but it is very cute. Does have the little buckly bucklies that don't seem to be broken. It's a mini, uh, so cute. It does not look, yeah, this is not a vintage kilt in any way, shape or form. Yeah, you can machine wash. No. So I don't know what that tag is from. It looks like it's from a costume shop or something, but I'll look it up. But still, even though it's not vintage, it is very cute and seems to be in good condition. All right, there's two. We've got some t-shirts, we've got some tie-dye. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, hello. Led Zeppelin, US Tour 1975. I'm pretty sure this is a repro because in 1975, they did not print the labels like that. So I'll see people like listing this kind of stuff as vintage. I'm like, no, dear, that's not. But really cute. Made in Honduras. Um, nice. I'll look that up and see if there's any value. I might take that to the yard sale. I do have a load of things I need to wash. So I might add that to them. All right. Uh, so far, three things that are sellable. I don't see major damages on any of them, so awesome. Uh, JG Hook, I've sold this brand before, usually in denim jeans. This is just a cute little olive cardigan. Um, it's all right. This is like early 2000s, technically Y2K. It's not great. This is probably going to go straight to the yard sale. It's not interesting enough to like list online. This, however, is so cute. Uh, this is 
Halloween! And it does have a bunch of these strings loose, which hopefully I can tie off. I'll look this over. I might take it to the yard sale. It's a size small. I think the, the green one was a medium, but it was a small medium. Um, that's all right. It's really cute, but it's not in great condition. It does have candy corn. I mean, you can't go wrong with candy corn. I could just call these tassels and say it's part of the design, right? So that's cute. All right, what do we got in here? Jeans. Ooh, Miss Me size 31 with american angel wing bling butt hello is that like a special kind uh look to be in good condition i have just recently this is a mid-rise easy crop those are cute uh just recently listed a whole bunch of jeans with the bling butt that i got at a yard sale one of them sold already and they were size over 30 um so that was like a 34 maybe 32 so this is 31, that's a good size. And you, you, like, you can't go wrong with the American Eagle Angel blingy butt. All right. So far, if this is the Y2K box, which I'm pretty sure it is, it definitely beats the last Y2K box that I got because the last one was terrible, stained, filthy, mostly unsellable, and not cute. This cute. This is king size, 2X. Uh, denim shorts. I'm pretty sure those are men's because it's king size. Nope, not missing a button. Uh, drawstring waist. Those are cute. Those are definitely sellable. King size isn't like a super great brand, but it's all right. Uh, this is Marsh Landing Petites. Let's see, knitted in China and linked and stitched in Hong Kong. So yeah, definitely vintage. I have actually one that I got like this and these little hooks over here they had some broken clasps i was so disappointed because they're so cute and actually i think the other one's cuter than this one so i might take off i might move some clasps around if i feel like it but probably not very cute a little fuzzy but super sellable so far i don't have a lot that i'm gonna be taking the yard sale on this one. Ooh, what's this Top linge, size medium. All right, that's an oversized medium. It has, okay, why would they, why would they do that? Why would they then put that in this box? Because they obviously knew that was there. They took a picture of it with that and they put this in the box. Why? It's also very dirty there. I mean, I think that's still sellable. And in fact, if you shredded this up a little bit more, it would be a look, a vibe, a thing. Maybe I'll keep that. I could wear it holy. I could make it holier, but why would they put that in the box? I Like, that's just weird. Like, if they're marketing towards resellers, they're supposed to be able to sell. Like, they're sending us stuff that we can resell. And they are marketing towards resellers because that's what it says in their little ads. All right. We got this. This obviously is not full of 30 things. We've got three more things in here. Uh, so it said all of my boxes were delivered today. They were not indeed. It was this one. So I'm a little perturbed about that, but that's okay. This is a uh, Campia Ma Moda extra large, and it's just a cute Hawaiian shirt. Uh, this is an okay brand. I always look it up when I'm at the, uh, I love selling Hawaiian shirts. So I always look this up when I see them at the thrift, cause I keep forgetting that it's really doesn't have great comps or anything. So I'll probably see if the uncle wants this one or I'll take it to the yard sale. This, however, ooh, I love me some bling. Look at this gorgeousness. All right, hello. The only problem with this, as far as a, a selling standpoint, is it literally takes someone else to help you get into it um, because of the hooks and eye at the back. This is a small silk papel boutique evening and I've had really good luck with the beaded papel shirts that just pull over um, but all of the ones that I have that involve zipping in the back they don't sell uh, mostly because they're a pain in the butt and who wants to have to like have someone with you to help you get into it or anyway but this is beautiful mm, you know I love me the bling it does have let's see some missing beads right there yeah. 
and I will try and tie off that string so more don't come out. But overall, it's in very good condition and so pretty. Look at that. All right. Love that. And oh, we've got three more things. Never mind. Hold on. What's this? This is very Y2K ish. Uh, this is Nick and Zoe. And that is really cute. Just this cute pastel shirt. Well, it's a sweater. Um, v neck pullover. Let's see, anything. I am mindfully made, 100% cotton. Do, 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 hand wash. Mm. No, I'm not hand washing it. It's going in the machine, people. Oh, what else have we got here? We've got something black, and then we've got something that looks. We'll see. Do, do, do. Oh, greetings from Florida. Oh. The land of sunshine. We love them about as much as we love Texas. All right. So it's too hot there and there's too many bugs. This is O'Neill medium modern fit. I will likely take that to the yard sale. It's just plain. I mean, that's cute. I'll look up comps first, of course, because it's going to sell for $60 because someone really loves Florida. I'm going to sell it online because oh, I'm not getting that price at the yard sale. Our last piece is, oh, cuteness. All right, this is india something something one size one size my aunt sally's behind um if it didn't have this stuff on the bottom i would like it a lot more it also has like a shark bite hem this is probably going to go to the yard sale because there's no way that's a one size actually my friend might want that i think she might not like the color palette but we'll see um that is not one size it has bling and I do sell things like this. This is very poor. It's not as well made as the ones I do that are like the One World or the, there's another brand. There's like two of them that I sell very consistently in plus sizes and larger sizes. Um, and they make some really cute things. This is just not super cute. I do love that. I mean, the colors are bright, but it also is one size. And like, I mean, I could stretch it, but then I'm going to have weird eyeballs on my boobs. And that's just not cute. That is not a look anybody needs. I mean, seriously, that's like, talk about placement because I was just putting that. Yeah, no, that's, that's literally where that's going to be. Like who, who puts that there? Who designed this anyway? So for one size, it's, it would fit me. Like I could get this on. It would not be cute. No. So I think that's going to go to the yard sale. All right. Overall, one damaged item so far. I mean, again, there might be stains or something they couldn't see like, that one Pierre Cardin jacket that I thought was great. Uh, there's a video, I'll show you what I did to try and get it undisgusting, but the inside was just gross. And you'll see how gross it was. There's a video coming up. I wanna show you a product I used. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. I will let you know if anything sold at the yard sale. If I decided to take it all, maybe not. I have enough clothes that are going there. I'm going to go and keep getting myself ready for this whole yard sale. I've got my change. I got my checklist. I got all sorts of things. And I'm just um, trying to get ahead on pictures so that the next two days when I'm at the yard sale for eight hours a day, I am not falling behind on listing hmm, because that would be awkward. Whew. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. This Y2K box was definitely $75. I will definitely make my money back and a profit. I'm not worried about that at this point. The last one, even though I've sold two things from it, it will not make my money back. That's okay. Yay. That's why I buy the mystery boxes. So you know not to <laughs> avoid them. Please don't do that. Anyway, I will have the unboxing of the other two boxes when they actually show up. Because as you can see, this one box did not have all three of the boxes I ordered in it. So... Hopefully the other two are actually on the way. I hope everything's going well with you and I will see you later, alligators. Bye.